Hi, I'm Trevor Lund of RevTrev.com, and uh, today I want to review a book for you that ends the series of uh, Jack White's ongoing story of the Arthurian legend. And uh, you've seen in my other reviews talk about Jack White and what he does, and why I really like him as a writer, as I like him as a historian, how I like how he tells the story, and really, um, uh, this book is the end of it all. Well, not quite, but <laughs> let me just explain that right away. This one's called The Eagle by Jack White, and uh, The Eagle by Jack White ends uh, the whole story. Now, remember what I told you about Jack, is Jack is very good at trying to explain things. He's, he's very good at trying to uh, take away the mysticism, take away the, uh, the issues that we have. And then what he tries to do in this book is he tries to give a plausible history how Lancelot could have stolen away Guinevere. And uh, he tells it in a way that makes perfect sense. <laughs> he tells it in a way where, yeah, that is, that is exactly what you would expect to happen. And I'm not going to spill the beans because it's a book that's worth reading. And quite frankly, if you read the whole series and you get to this one, you're, you're waiting for it. You want the answer. What's going on? And, and I'm not going to spill that for you. Um, uh, I would have liked more satisfaction with Arthur's story. Because what happens in this book is uh, Arthur sends Lancelot, uh, Clothar, uh, back to France to be his emissary. Back, it wasn't called France, whatever. <laughs> back to the Franks to um, be uh, his emissary there. And uh, so he's, Clothar's there and he's, you know, potential to reclaim his kingdom. Is that something he wants to do? He goes and helps his uh, step um, brother uh, thwart off an attack from the Huns and what happens there? He's he's uh, creates cavalry, a cavalry to creates uh, knights in um, in in uh, Frank Hell territories. And that was, you know, just that part of history because, like, the Franks were the ones that had the first stirrups, right? They were the ones that, that were able to cut people's heads off from the back of horses. Romans didn't have that. The Franks did. And uh, in the whole story, uh, Camelot had some reading Franks come in and they found this, you know, stirrups on the saddle and they didn't know, they didn't know what it was. And they... Um, sat there for years until Merlin was sitting on it one day and was able to whack something from the stirrups and then, oh, they figured out what it was. And so it took, you know, 40 years for them to figure out what that could be. And uh, so the Franks had the, in history, they, they were the first to have the, uh, the stirrups. Um, but in the book, they had uh, Camelot came to teach them how to have knights and how to fight as a unit and and how to do these things that yeah if it happened that way it would be absolutely amazing but you know it, I, I really think it might have if the story is true like Arthur had a cavalry and and that's what he was fighting with and so how does he get a cavalry how how on earth does Arthur have a cavalry when the Romans never did like the Romans when they were in England did have a cavalry so how on earth would would that develop? Well, the story gives you a plausible explanation for it. Now, again, this sums it up. I, I would, yeah, and and so, the story is about uh, Clothar back in uh, Fran of uh, Frank Held territory, uh, being Arthur's emissary. He comes back to uh, help Arthur. Uh, here's a rumor. Goes and checks it out. Goes and tells Arthur. Um, I won't explain any more of the story, but Arthur, anyway, you're going to have to read it. It does end well. <laughs> you wish Arthur could have hung around longer. You wish she could have survived longer. You wish she could have, you know, established something in England. Um, but the fun part is, is, uh, I don't know if you've seen it. I should Google it and try to see there. I did see a story that there is a, uh, an old ruin 
uh, where in the area where people think Camelot was that is far too big and far too large and far too old for anyone to understand what it could be unless it's Camelot. Hmm, makes you think. Anyway, plausible history, great story. Uh, very satisfying the whole way through. If you're into historical fiction, I wasn't into historical fiction until I read this series because they always got it wrong. But Jack gives you plausible explanations for things, for how the history could have happened. And I'm going to review one last book that's outside the series but is part of the series, and I'll get to that next time. I'm Trevor Lund of RevTrev.com.